a shaven headed Jermaine Davis. There was the free. Has taken the free, and that's loose checking by the East Perth defence because Shane Cable had got inside the 50 and has taken the mark. Now he's a good kick, Shane Cable, and would make the distance here. This could be a good start for the Demons, kicking with the breeze. Chris Geryne stands the mark. Brett Spinks lined up at centre half forward with his opponent Greg Jones. So Shane Cable. A drop punt on the way. He's pulled it a little bit. And the first score on the board to the Perth Demons in the, the Demons. To centre half forward, the Barnard kick. Davis is well back down the ground, getting into his own defensive half, and then puts the kick out in front of Shane Cable, a co-captain of the Demons, and he'll use it well. Steadies, props, gives it to Sakura. Back in form last week, Shane Sakura. Eight minutes, and they also have a point. Sphinx takes clean possession, but he's well tackled. Comes out to Davis. Davis to the top of the goal square, where Perth have the numbers. Shearer has the ball, and he should go. That's the first goal of the first semi-final. Blake Shearer broke the tackle. He trapped the Watson. East Perth not doing it as well as they might in defence at the moment. This is Abraham in towards full forward. They need to mark the Demons. Players at ground level though. Haynes has got time to line them up and he doesn't make any mistake this time. The Demons have their second and those smaller players for the Demons. So the ball will be bounced 20 metres out from the Demons goal. They're 2-2 two -two to one point in the first semi-final. Shearer, the hand pass back. They go for the feedback hand pass. His spins on the right foot. Around the body he goes. And that's what... So the hand pass off quickly. Cable uses the ball well to Haynes against Hancock and the, the hand pass back to Cable who followed up his own kick. Boots to half forward, speak. Haynes out of trouble, hand passes to Sakura. He wants to make too many moves at the moment, Shane Sakura. Cable hooks high, it'll go close to the boundary line. Comes off hand. Into this breeze while they could. It's just as if Merritt didn't realise he had time then and didn't get the hook. Wow, that's a bad kick into play. And they're going to be punished for the goal here. Paul Pios went for the target, but missed Greg Jones. So that's the shot for Shane Cable. Busy player in the first quarter against Scott Loving. 25 metres out directly in front. There's his father looking on. You can just about mark this one down. Just allowed for the breeze, nearly too much, but it's just swung back in time. So the Demons have their fourth on the board. They're 4 5 29 and 1 1 7 to the Royals. Well, the designated kicker for East Perth has been Peter Miller for, I think, every kick out bar that one. And Paul Pios, the East Perth captain, probably wishes uh, Miller had not kicked it out instead of him. But as I said, good interception there from uh, Shane Cable. He's had a, a, a terrific first quarter and uh, as I said, he doesn't miss shots like that, and that, that's probably the result that Blackwell would like now. Maybe one more. But... The half pass in turn, another chance for Perth. High kick from Thompson will land at the top of the square, but it's all East. But no, it's not. Spinks came from nowhere. I was about to say, in fact, I think I said it's all East Perth, and it looked as though Roger Perry was going to take that mark, but gee, there's the value of a big frame. Spinks came in late, Perry collided with him, and it was no contest. Roger Perry, who's not small himself, just bounced off Spinks and was on the ground before Spinks had completed the mark. So, Brett Spinks with the opportunity now to kick his second goal and that valuable goal that I referred to with Perth kicking into the wind, and it is a wind, in this second quarter. It'll be tricky, trickier than at the other end, but he kicks the ball hard and firmly, and I think he's got it. He has. So trying to come up to uh, take out the tag, I think. So the ball thrown into play. Cable on the left boot. Finds Lennigan. Now Lennigan's got time to play on. Gets the ball out of immediate danger down towards centre wing. Beautifully weighted kick, but Cable misses what he would normally have swallowed. Plays on with a good hand. But he uses the ball this time to Lalic, who couldn't hold on. Loving the crumbs. Taken on by Cable. The hand pass back to Maloney. He's taken on also. Meantime, a free kick given against Scott Loving off the ball. He's caught it high, he pushed up with his hand, and obviously oh, we see there, he's obviously caught him uh, in the uh, too high, but he was. There's been 20, didn't recognise the hands. In fact, it's nothing, Spinner. It's been to be taken by Walton, who goes to centre half forward and Spinks, and he's got the mark. Too tall and too strong, Brett Spinks. And he's proving to be a major thorn in East Perth's side at the moment. 
So he will take a shot for goal from just inside 50 metres. He has kicked two, Brett Spinks, two of East Perth seven. And uh, Perth has certainly thrown down the gauntlet to East Perth here. Each time East Perth come back at them, they've responded well. There's no, shine, no sign of the, the fragility that we've seen from Perth in recent weeks. They're standing up well at the moment, and they've cleared out the goal square almost to allow Spinks to take this shot at goal, take a good kick into the wind. Oh, he's a powerful kick, Brett Spinks. Gee, that's a good kick. They're important goals from out there into the breeze. He's got three of Perth's eight. They're eight, seven. He's Perth a four, thick and high. Is it Sakura? Yes, it is. Sakura plays on with a hand pass to Cable. They're having trouble getting the ball out of defence, Perth. He's worked it across the half-back line, but they've gained no distance at all. Proctor's loose. They should have gone to Proctor. Walton back to Cable. Now they've broken the line. Can they set something up? Bad kick. Kick straight into Sara. Cleverly done on the outs. Thompson just standing off Colburn. Chips the ball in towards the 45-metre line. Abraham from 40 metres out punishes the Dean of their world. Well, Winston Abraham has been pretty well but he gave him the slip then, and like Haynes, he really can make you pay. Be closer than 26 points at three-quarter time if they're going to win this game. Hancock, there's a wrestle in the centre square between Devon Perry and Corey Robertson, but the ball has gone to half forward for East Perth where it's been marked by Cable. Cable breaks to the outer side of the ground and he's got a lead from a player out there, and that's Lewis. Lewis is at right. Steady as said the East Perth players have worked the ball up well through Butcher and Anderson and uh, really they're the goals that East Perth need if they're going to get back into this game. Cable about to bring the ball back into play. Beautiful kick as it usually is. Lewis with the mark plays on ahead of Wheatley. Kicks to centre wing. In fact it's gone beyond centre wing. Oh the bounce favours Haynes. Good shepherd provided by Davis. Give Hay gives Haynes a 30 metre break. He's within goal scoring distance. If he kicks the goal which he has. Perth defence has spread far and wide, trying to create some holes, give Cable something to kick to, and they did it well. Jackson marks outside 50, that's the way to clear the... East Perth now, Pios kicking the ball back into play, Colburn will be the target, Robertson is a taller man, gets it to the front, chance for Walton on the left boot, can he bend it back, can it hold its run? and I reckon the Royals are gone. He's got some space now, so he should be able to use the ball. Should have been a free to Barnard. Play on called the umpire. They're not giving them now all of a sudden. So Cable gets the ball out. Maybe they're spoken to at half-time by the people sitting on, on his left. The work rate of the Demons far superior. Spinks, two, second in line, but too tall for Hancock. Took the mark, left centre wing, plays on quickly, Haynes. It's fantastic just to see our work rate compared to last week has just turned around completely. Thanks for talking to us, mate. No worries, thanks, mate. Well, Perth have the ball immediately in their full forward area. Hand pass from an East Perth defender goes astray. Abraham can kick to the goal square and Davis will take the mark. Well, there probably aren't too many quarters of football that a coach can really sit back and enjoy, but I have a feeling that Wayne Blackwell's going to enjoy this one. His team leading by 55 points at three-quarter time, kicking into the breeze in the final term, but they are going to kick the first goal of the last quarter to extend their lead to a massive 61 points. And this really is becoming one-way traffic now. Trevor Sprigg, you have the individual possession getters, the leading possession getters in the game at three-quarter time. Corey Robertson with 14 and 6 for 20. Shane Cable, 15-3. Thought about it. And he'll come inboard in actual fact to Shane Evans. On the defensive 50, now to Cable. Chipping the ball around, looking for the opening. The ground by about three or four metres as Robertson gets rid of Purcell off the ball. The kick into the centre of the ground from Mars high risk stuff. Cable couldn't trap it. Merritt goes, it's not, it's Lennigan who went without it. They've got players everywhere though, Perth, and Cable scrambles the kick to Thompson. Thompson goes wider still, finds Evans. Evans from Bitchwell. Enhance East Perth's situation to some extent if he can kick the goal, but it's been a lamentable second half from the Royals. In fact, it's been a lamentable performance since half time, and that's not a good kick from Jerome. 
but a good mark has been taken by Shane Cable. And he goes to Lennigan again. Lennigan at right full back. Has Robertson and passes to Miller. Looks at Jackson and then runs away from him. Kicks towards Wheatley. Wheatley is spoiled from behind by Cable. Cable's still got plenty of run. He'll be happy to take it out. No, he won't. He wants to take him on. He's taken over the line. And there'll be a throw in between right centre wing and right half forward for East Perth. For Shane Cable, terrific touch for Perth today. They've used a lot in the back half, but set up a lot of play from that area. So the game just winding down now to an anti-climax. The Demons into the preliminary final against the loser of the second match in today's doubleheader between East and South Fremantle and a replay this evening on ABC. The hand pass there from Morris to Cable after Cable had kicked in. And McMurray is marked. Backline Abraham up, misjudged the mark, but McMurray takes it at the back, kicks to the goal square and speaks. Almost took the mark. Proctor collides with an opponent. It spills to Haynes, and Haynes kicks another goal. And East Perth players lie in his wake. At the top of the goal square, Haynes has got three. E Perth have 16, they're 16 10. East Perth are 6 11. Well, again, just the numbers game, wasn't it? it you know, Perth put the pressure on the East Perth players deep in that uh, right forward pocket there. Possibly Spinks, he was lucky not to have given one away there. I, I would think going into the back of the East Perth player, but it was really that pressure there which allowed the terrific through this game. And his kick was good then, too, to Proctor. Joe Proctor. Spinks will be the target. And just uh, as I easy think as it'll go Abraham. Well, it's a free kick and finds Bethiris. 15th possession today. And Russell Thompson, second half. Oh, that's Brett Spinks, but he's been terrific. But Russell Thompson's second half has been very significant. The point I was going to make, not seen. Hand pass to Wheatley to Sarah. Had plenty of time. And away it goes again. Cable for Perth, the right centre wing. Has a look upfield. Where's Brett? Haynes has worked pretty hard and diligently. Devon Perry takes it away for East Perth. Into the attacking 50. Shane Cable tried to mark from behind, and such is the confidence of the Demons that he came away with the football anyway. Had three, four bounces now, and gets to centre wing, boots the ball towards Winston Abraham at half forward. And there's just too many East Perth players now with their heads hanging down badly, and they've been blitzed. But you've still got to keep going. Terrific kick to Brett Spinks. But in the, at the same time, a good lesson for young.